Hi, my name is uh, Miss Lawler. I am your son or daughter's high school English teacher here at Fountain Valley High School. I'd like to welcome you into my classroom. Um, normally I'm at back to school night, but myself, I'm also a student, and on Monday nights I have a class down in Concordia University in Irvine. And so today, I thought I would video myself so that at least you could get a face to the name, and I could tell you a little bit about what um, we're gonna do this year on the adventure in my classroom. So come on in as we enter into my classroom, and I'll tell you a little bit about what we're gonna do here. So sophomore year is really important. Sophomore year is probably a turning point um, for high school students because it's a time really when students need to make some decisions. They really need to start thinking about what it is they wanna do after they graduate. I know that three years seems like a long way away, but June of your senior year comes really quickly. And so the sophomore year is kind of that year when you need to start thinking about maybe where you wanna to go to college or what you might wanna do or um, some of the goals of the classes you might even take in your junior and senior year. So as a high school uh, sophomore teacher, it's my goal to kind of help them on that journey and help them on that plan. One of the things I do in my classroom is I have them set at the beginning of the year some academic goals. So all of my students have set some academic goals, um, whether it has to do with writing or reading or some of it doesn't even have to do with my class. It just has to do with an academic goal that they would like to achieve this year. As I take them uh, through this year, there are three things that I like to focus on. The first thing is obviously reading. This is English. Of course, we're going to do lots of reading. But I try and have the students do some reading outside of class of things that they're interested in, as well as some reading of a variety of uh, pieces of literature here in class. So we're going to read some novels together. We're going to read some memoirs together. We're going to read some poetry. We're going to read a, a Greek play and even some uh, small fables and um, short stories as well. Currently, we've started our nonfiction unit. And so um, part of that is your student is reading an outside uh, piece of literature, either a biography or autobiography. So hopefully, you're seeing them read that at home. If not, you might want to ask them about it. Um, typically, in my class, I always say to my students that if I don't assign some kind of written homework, that they should be um, taking the time of reading 15 or 20 minutes at home so that they might spend that time enriching their uh, their reading abilities and enriching their vocabulary. So after reading, the second thing that I focus on in my classroom is writing. I put a lot of emphasis on writing because I think that as students, they really need to develop that skill, especially if they have a future goal of going to college. They have to write a, a, a personal essay as they apply for college. They will do a lot of writing regardless of the career that they decide on, regardless of the classes that they take. Writing is one of those things that we'll do for the rest of our life. And finally, the third thing that I like to focus on with my students is their speaking abilities. We do a variety of activities in class and lessons where students are interacting with each other in small groups and big cooperative groups. We often, I often have them get up in front of the class and speak to their classmates. Um, and for some students, that's tough. It takes them out of their comfort zone. But being able to present yourself is something that we all have to do in, um, as we continue on throughout our life. So reading, writing, and speaking and, and presentation abilities are things that I really focus on with my students. So let me tell you about um, how my class kind of runs. I like to have my class, I like to have the students be very organized. I've tried to guide them here at the beginning of the year to be organized so that they can be successful because I'm a big believer that half the battle between being successful as a student is your organization. And then the other half is really your effort and the time that you put into study and doing your work. I try to work with my students. I try to work with you as a parent. I believe that it's kind of a triangle between the three of us that hopefully you'll come to me if you have questions or concerns about your students' progress. Hopefully your students will come to me as they need guidance and help. And then my goal is to facilitate um, their learning between the, the two of you so that all of us can see in June that your son or daughter has had a great experience and has learned and has prepared themselves for whatever the next step that they uh, may want to take. Many of your uh, students will choose to um, go the AP route. Well, at the end of the year, they have to write a, uh, an entrance essay to get into the AP program if they would like to go into AP as a junior and or senior. In the spring, all sophomores take the high school exit exam. So part of my job is to prepare them um, for that exam. It's a requirement to graduate from high school. 
And so I try and guide them in pre preparing for that, that exam, whether it's the essay portion or the other aspects that deal with literature and, and, and grammar as well. So you can see this is my classroom. This is where your son or daughter comes every day. They um, are here and we do a variety of, of activities to hopefully make this day enjoyable for them. I really love what I do. I love interacting with students. Um, to tell you a little bit about me, I'm an alumni. I did my student teaching here. I graduated from Fountain Valley High School. I'm also one of the athletic directors. So I'm very involved in the things that happen here at our campus. And I love to encourage the students to get involved. I think that for students to have the whole complete high school experience, they need to do lots of things, not just schoolwork. Of course, that's important, but there's clubs they can get involved in, athletics that they can get involved in, performing arts. We have so many wonderful programs here at Fountain Valley. And I say that because I believe that this is one of the best schools that your uh, child could be attending. They're gonna get a great education here. Um, we have great teachers who really care about students, who really care about helping them uh, be successful. Please know that I have an open door policy, which means if you have a question, you can definitely contact me. It's easy to go on to FEHS.com and you can get my contact information. Um, feel free to email me or call me if we need to set up a conference. Um, I prefer the face-to-face. -face. That allows us to work together to help your son or daughter be successful. Um, with respect to um, grades, many uh, students want to know uh, about how to be successful in the class. And I tell them the biggest thing is to do their homework. Because I assign, the things I assign for homework are meant to help their grade, not hurt it. And typically, the students that don't do their work or they're absent, that's how their grade suffers. I give them all the tools, I prepare them for tests, I help guide them so that they, they can be successful in my classroom. And hopefully, I'll teach them some techniques that will be useful to them when they move on to the next stage, whether that's junior, senior English, or eventually whatever they do for college. I believe that students need to find their niche. And for most students, that's finding what their passion is. My passion is working with young people. I love working with them with, within athletics as well as here in the classroom. You're gonna see me around campus if your son or daughter is involved in, in uh, athletics, in particular the indoor sports or aquatics. You're gonna see me at those places, cheering on your kids, guiding my coaches, and hopefully um, interacting with you as parents um, as needed. So I hope that learning a little bit about what we're going to do this year will help you feel more comfortable in contacting me. Um, we teach at the sophomore level. It's really classified as world literature. So with respect to the literature that we're going to read, it's a variety of things from around the world. We're going to do some Greek literature. We're going to read some uh, myths. We're going to read uh, some things that will kind of give an overall look at um, literature for your students so they can kind of see what they like and see what they have a passion for. We do some nonfiction stuff that's currently what we're reading so that they can see that the world is filled with literature. It's not just fiction novels or fiction stories. Um, but so hopefully as you see these things you'll uh, see them learning, you'll see them growing and we can work together to help them have a successful sophomore year here at Fountain Valley. I look forward to interacting with you throughout the year. I look forward to guiding and helping your students and I hope that together we can make this a great year. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon.